welcome back to my channel. My name is Philip, and today I'm going to show you a part two of the previous project. So, the previous project was that you had a watermelon and a bowl, and you had to try to catch the watermelons with the bowl, and your, the score increased by one if you caught the watermelon. Today, we're going to make some changes to the project that we worked on last time. First off, I think just watermelons falling from the sky is a bit boring. So let's change it up a bit and make some other types of fruits also fall from the sky. Not at the same time, but different fruit each time. Like this time comes watermelons, this time comes oranges, this time comes apples, and so on. There is two ways to do that. The first way is to just add a bunch of sprites with fruits and you copy this script and just paste it there. But the easier way is to go to costumes. These are just the other costumes of the watermelon. We won't be needing those, so go ahead and delete them. And get more costumes. For the costumes, we need different types of fruits, so we search up fruit, fruits, and we find all these types of fruits. Let's say I want the apple first, right? Then I add some more. So we find the bananas. And then, we want, let's say, for example, we want at least one more. We find, oh look, an orange. And then let's get one more, so we have five. The last one will be the strawberry, okay? So once we have as many uh, fruits as we want here in the costumes, then we go back to the code. And we have to change the costume every time the fruit comes down, right? So we need to get like a, a change costume too. But don't keep in mind that we have to make it random, completely random. We don't pick what costume comes down. It's completely random. So you might have noticed there's a switch costume to strawberry A or whatever you want to put in there. Um, we're going to be using that. And you put it, you have to put it right here under go to X. Because that's what makes the strawberry uh, fall down from a random position. So we need to put it there. And since we want it random, we want one of these random, one of these pick random blocks. So we go to the operators where they were and we get one, and we place it right there. And now we have to do the same under this one, right? Because it also falls if this is true, so we need to put it under that. So we're gonna go ahead and just duplicate this, okay? Like that, put it down, duplicate it again, because there's one more over here too, all right? And then you put this one in there, and that one right there, and not one from ten, because remember we only had one. I mean, we only had five different fruits, so change it to five. Change it to what any number of fruits that you picked. That how many fruits you have, and when you press run, as you see, different type of fruits fall. It might be the same fruit twice in a row. It just depends what the computer picks from the random. So as you can see, we have the same two blocks in three different places. So that's when the My Blocks category comes in. When you get to My Blocks category, you'll see there's only one button. Make a block. You click it, and you have to name your block. Since we want it to show a different fruit from the top, we're going to name it Show Fruit. Then that's basically it. So you press OK, and you see this big red button comes, 
and uh, this big red block comes and it says define show fruit. We have to put what show fruit means. And then you have the block show fruit and you can place it wherever you want in the code. So what we want show fruit to do is are these two blocks, right? So you take these two blocks and put them under define show fruit. Then you take out every single one and you make you put a show fruit wherever those two blocks were. And you press the run button and as you can see it does the same thing. So remember that you can use my blocks whenever you have a group of code in more than one place in your code. Now for the final step, we want to make the fruits fall with different speeds. So how we do that is we get, we make a new variable by clicking the make a variable button and let's name it speed, okay? Then you press the OK button and you have to place speed right here so it falls with the speed. Now we gotta set the speed to something. So you get this and then you change it to speed. You bring it over here and you have to put it here, right? Cause you want it to set the speed whenever the show through uh, block comes in. So you, you click set speed to and we want it to be random, right? So since it usually fall, it usually fell with negative 10, let's, for example, let's set it to from negative 15 to negative 5, okay? And you see the speed appears here. We don't really need to see the speed, but let's leave it so I can show you that it works. So you click it, you see it, the speed is sometimes like negative 7, negative 11, negative 12, negative 13, negative 9, negative 8, and so on. It's really just random. Don't forget to name your project. Change the name because it used to be catch the watermelons. Now you gotta change it to catch the fruits. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video and I'll see you next time for another project.